Hi everyone and welcome back to Starfield. Thanks for joining me. So we finished up uh, investigating uh, Lindinium and found out that uh, Bevictus was part of a Terramorph attack. Um, and we need to talk to him about it and find out what he might know, especially about the attack on New Atlantis from the Terramorphs. So we're going to head out and uh, see what we can see. Ship's ready. Pick a star. Any star. Now. All right, let's find our target. There it is. General traffic is not permitted in this sector. You again. You're advised to leave this orbit immediately. The United Colonies will not be held responsible for any harm you suffer by proceeding. Oh, we've already done this. Um... Let yeah. me check my logs. Hmm. All right, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. Yeah, we've already cleared it out. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I should have. Uh, should have ignored him. That's okay. All right, we're gonna head back to uh, where we need to go. Bay Victus. Whoops. Alpha Centauri. That's where we're going. Thing. Enjoy your stay in New Yeah, yeah, yep. Yep, not a problem, thanks. Uh, let's see. We need to go to... Oh, investigate the brownouts at the well. Probably should do that. Oh my gosh, I went down too far. We need to uh, speak to Bay Victor. So let's head land and head over there. Bay Victus is likely the only other person who knows about the Lazarus plant and its potential as a weapon. Hmm. What does he know? Would you look at that? <laughs> this place is something else. Okay, this wasn't where I was expecting to land, but uh, I probably hit the wrong button. Oh, hi Sam. Um, we need to go over here. Another pretty day in New Atlantis? All right, here we are in subsection seven. So let's go talk to the talk to the guy named Vavictus. Hey. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. Yep, not a problem. Stay, Sam. This leisure. <laughs> Can you imagine having to stay down here for how, however long he was down here? Go insane, maybe. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When yeah. I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be onto something big. Did you find what you were looking for? What do you think? I don't know. Is there a thing? <clears throat> is there anything you want to tell me about your time in Londinian? <laughs> I haven't been to Londinian in many years. Mm-hmm. Why? Is there some way I could be of assistance? 
were able to recover what you were looking for. Oh, man. Ugh, gotta call his bluff. We did, and a whole lot more. Good news, then. Is it? So, what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramors, no? You, th you think? Well, you know, we found a recording of you discussing the use of Terramors as a weapon. What do you think about that, dude? Did you? Yes. Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but... I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, given the cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. I like this. I can hear it in your voice, Francis. Francois. Fear. You're afraid because you know you've been discovered. You want to hear the words, then? Yes, I do. I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau City. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now... Being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. Well, it's pretty obvious you're angry about what the UC did to you. It's petty revenge, nothing more. Oh, my revenge was far from petty, Captain. The attacks were a correction. When I discovered the plant, I did consider handing over what I'd found, but we were at war. And I couldn't risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. Like your hands so were wrong? the bombing of the Londinian spaceport. <laughs> fixing two problems at once. Halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak, and sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. You didn't even trust your own people in the UC? These were the final days of the colony war, Captain. The Freestar Collective had spies everywhere. I was concerned that if word got out, the Collective could swoop down, start breeding Lazarus plants, and overrun our worlds with waves of terramorphs. Just like what was happening on Londinian at that very moment. Sealing off the city to prevent mass death, it was the only option that made sense at the time. That information should have been handed over, secured it to keep it from ever being used. It's easy to judge now. In that moment, I wasn't about to add another dangerous variable to an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. She becomes a hero. I become a trusted advisor. Having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero. You.
Why the hell do you care if you see once you as an advisor? Why would I want to be in the good graces of the people who control my very life? I don't know, Captain. Maybe I still dream of a life outside these walls someday. A new face would be needed, of course, but it wasn't an impossibility. Though now, I'm not so sure. Hmm. So I'm just your cleanup crew. You think you must be very, very clever. Captain, please. You've benefited here as much as I have. Maybe more. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the Cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the Vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. Well, if you're waiting for me to say thank you, we're going to be here a while. I'm simply <laughs> looking for you to acknowledge the truth. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. Eliminating the Terramorphs. Securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. Hmm. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the Cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the Cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. You think I'm just going to forget the fact that you killed people to accomplish your good works? And how many have you killed to get where you are now? There are no great works that don't cost lives, Captain. Whether it's winning a war, or digging a tram tunnel. So we sacrificed a few dozen in the attacks to possibly protect millions. That seems like a fair exchange to me. Yeah, I only but... hope you'll see the same, and leave my name out of the discussions to come. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to tell the cabinet right now. Well, I do hope you'll keep the larger perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity to do more. Alright. I don't know. I think my scientist is not impressed with this guy. What's in here? Did I already go in here? Probably. Kind of nosy that way. Oh, I don't remember. It's just a tiny room anyway. Probably climate control. Is there a lock? This is not locked. Hmm. All right. I think let's head out. 
find Sam and then go talk to Hadrian and Percival. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. Mm -hmm. Fun, Sam. We're leaving. go and uh, where are they? They're over here? Oh, there they are. Hello, Hadrian. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news, the microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Oh, that is good news. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. Great, thanks. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Uh, Did yeah. Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? He confessed and organized the attacks from his cell, somehow. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew- Why? Did he say why he did it? He made plenty of grand claims, claims, but deep down he just wanted some revenge. Killed all those people because of a chip on his shoulder and an obsession with his own status. Mm-hmm. That sounds like they Victus. It is. Well, once we inform the cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. He asked we leave out his involvement in the attacks. Uh, says to consider the lives he helped save. I'm sure he did. But he killed dozens of people. And I'm not about to let him get away with something like that. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Okay. Unless there was more to discuss. I don't know. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. So both approaches to clearing out our worlds are effective against heat leeches? They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. Oh, that's good news. And the Aceles seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Oh. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... What do you think the cabinet will do when they learn about Vevictus's involvement in the attacks? It's hard to know. Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. Hmm. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. That it is. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. They might be willing to spare him. Hmm. Uh, what kind of risks are there if we decide to bring back the Asilis. Asilis aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. They're big. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. Mm. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Using them to clean up the terramorphs and leeches, though, it's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Oh. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Aceles, we're at least dealing with known risks. Oh, so what method of dealing with the Terramorphs are you two leaning towards? Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. Okay. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. 
You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. So I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet wait. See if they have a preference. Oh, okay. Is that all the questions? All right, let's head in. And here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? Uh, that's correct, ma'am. It was a deliberate attack. My god. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? Hadrian, I think you should tell them. Well, ma'am, it seems your report is incorrect. Francois Sanon was responsible for the attacks. He did what? That... that... that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. <laughs> like Madam that. President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was gonna end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Now that's quite the accusation your group is leveling. Seeing as Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? Yep. Let's play the emergency recorder snippet. It just transformed a terramorph out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No plan I would be safe. Heavens help us. I, is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. Yep. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. <laughs> Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Mm. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Thank you. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We... Failed the people of the colonies by not dealing with Ve Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake immediately. Oh, what's going to happen to him? That will be up to the cabinet to decide. But I don't appreciate our mercy being taken advantage of. Whatever the captain thinks. It's the right course of action, of course, ma'am. It's well past due. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, 
The cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. What sorts of measures will the UC be taking to protect the Lazarus plant? Well, luckily the natural hostility of Londinian makes keeping out trespassers relatively easy. Okay. But we'll ensure its growth is contained. That access to the plant is only permitted via highly regulated clearances and that our troop presence on Londinian is increased. Ma'am, I believe the other faction should be involved in securing the Lazarus plant. Tell the Freestar Collective. Why? So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. Hmm. The UC doesn't exactly have the best track record. This would ensure good behavior from both sides. Every single thing the UC did was reprehensible. You better believe the Freestar Collective can handle this better. I forgot he was oh, there. <laughs> that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So. You want us to make nice with the Collective by sharing our state secrets? Just one? No. I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions. That the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Thank you. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the Collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech, presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? <laughs> As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Well... Major. <laughs> We've been having similar debates ourselves. But the captain has yet to weigh in. Mm. Captain, considering your xenological background, your input on the matter would be most welcome. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm going with it. I, I like that. Less risk uh, using an existing organism than making a new one. Uh, the Asilis is the wiser choice. I'm in full agreement. No need to be delving into unpredictable sciences. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As oh. befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? Whoa. For the three of us? 
Are you joking? <laughs> what so he funny. means to say is, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, thank you, Madam President. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. Oh, great, thanks. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander. Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Nice. All right. We are done here. I think that wraps up this uh, quest. Faction quest. Yeah, we only have... Oh, wait a minute. We have the Crimson Fleet one to do. Commander Twala of... Uh, UC Vanguard has provided me with an assignment. I am to report to the UC Vigilance and speak to Commander... Um, hmm. Kivi Akandi for the details. Alright, I guess we're not done with um, that. But we probably should start on the main quest and go to this place. Alright. Going further into the unknown. Hey Sam. You know, the way you handle things not bad. Not bad. Alright, thanks. Take it easy. He wasn't too upset about uh, what we did there. Private sector. Now that's where the real money's at. Hmm. Alright. Let's uh, go down and talk to Commander Twala. Uh, yep, there we go. Let's just talk to him for a minute. Hello, Commander. Well, well, I've got to say, this is a first. I've never had a Class 1 citizen in my ranks before. Congratulations, Captain. Thank you, Commander. It is an honor. Maybe. <laughs> no need to thank me. You brought this on yourself. I've already gone ahead and processed your Class 1 benefits. All UC goods and services should now have a thanks for protecting the colonies discount. Oh, great. And the credits should be in your accounts now. But to get into your penthouse, you'll have to pay a visit to the Affilion Realty Office. They should be able to grant you access. Oh, we get a... Ooh. I'd rather drink it. <laughs> oh, that's incredibly generous. Higher-ups wanted to make sure you know how much they appreciate what you've done. But, with all that squared, it's time to get you a new assignment. There are your standard Vanguard missions, putting those pilot skills to use defending UC space. Mm. Or you could help the TMD in cleaning up Terramorphs. Oh, and I got a request from Dr. Walker. Wanted your help collecting biological samples to keep an eye out for any, uh, new alien threats on the horizon. Any of those oh. missions call to you? Um... You know, I'd like to run a Vanguard mission. I've only ever really done one, and that ended in... weirdly. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose that's true. Well, we can remedy that right now. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Report says ships at these coordinates fired on United Colonies craft. You're clear to use lethal force if necessary. Oh. Witnesses say their attackers appear to be Varun craft. 
So I'd bring the meanest firepower you've got. Fly smart out there. Oh, okay. So maybe I can get some ship, ship combat in. Um, hold on. Directed, uh, directed me to pay a visit to Mimas and deal with any hostile ships. Ooh, I really suck at that. So, because my piloting skills are pretty much non-existent. Um, oh, where's my piloting? So that would help with that, right? Yeah, destroy 15 ships. And at least it would help me. Maybe I could get a new ship. Get up to class B. Oh, okay. I think we got our next mission settled. Nice. Okay. I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Relatively short one. Uh, lots of chatter and whatnot, but you know, it's a role-playing game. Sometimes that happens. Not a lot of action in it. Um, but in the next episode, we're going to go deal with some ships and <laughs> deal with my non-existent dog ship dogfighting skills. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.